Well, good morning. You made it to Friday. Happy Friday. Uh, or as I like to say, happy Friday to those who celebrate. Because I know some of you work hard over the weekend. Look, I'm going to take care of you three minutes or less. We're going to get you your full weekend forecast. I'm Matt Noyce with One Degree Outside. Let's go ahead and dive in. First of all, what's happening right now, you've got the jet stream uh, that's configured in a way that we've got a storm right overhead. So this storm that's still with us here uh, is what we call stacked. It goes from the lower levels all the way up to the jet stream level. Here's the lower levels, about 6,000 feet. That's for today. We go out in time to the middle of the day on Saturday. Look, it's still right there. Sunday, it's finally starting to nudge east, and by Monday, it's gone. So moral of the story is it is a slow process toward improvement, and that's why today's map looks like what you're seeing right here. We're talking about a lot of clouds. There will indeed be a couple of rain and snow showers, not only this morning, but a few more that pop up during the afternoon around the Boston area up to the New Hampshire seacoast. The farther south and west you go, the better the weather gets, but there's still a lot of clouds around. And when you get up into northern New England, we still have periods of off and on snow. Now, the accumulation rate has slowed quite a bit, but in the mountains, another couple fresh inches comes down over the course of the day today. The reason I say in the mountains is because for the rest of us, northern New England high temperatures today, right around 40 degrees. Southern New England high temperatures about 40 to 45. That's a cool day when you figure in a west-northwesterly breeze will be blowing about 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts to 25. So it is going to feel a little bit on the raw side uh, at times. Having said that, Skiing is excellent for Friday. It'll be great Saturday, too. Here's the map Saturday. Not a perfect day, though. You can see a lot of clouds around the Boston area. Uh, there's likely to be some pre-dawn snow showers and rain showers mixed together. An afternoon rain shower that may pop up. Hartford to Springfield looks a little bit better. Less cloud cover. You see the white breaking up there. And then when you get into northern New England, you know, it's going to actually be these pockets of light snow in the morning that end up pockets of light snow and rain during the course of the afternoon. High temperatures running about 40 degrees in northern New England. 40s, mid 40s when you come down into southern New England. Brings you to Sunday. Sunday's a day of improvement. Notice the amount of white over southern New England, though. Still more clouds than sun on Sunday, but it's a dry day. Northern New England sees more sunshine coming in from the north. That's important. That's what gives us the better date Monday in terms of getting a lot of sun for the eclipse. Notice high temperatures Sunday, still not impressive. Mid 40s, the best we'll do. On Monday, a couple of high altitude uh, clouds come in. We call them cirrus clouds. I don't think they're going to be thick enough to pose a problem with viewing the eclipse. Uh, they may mute the sun a little bit, but you should still see the sun through those clouds. If you want to avoid those, you're going up to the Northeast Kingdom of Vermont. You're going into central or northern New Hampshire. Of course, path of, path of totality across the north or you're going up into Maine. And if you missed the eclipse video, I'll make sure that I get that updated today so you get a special eclipse forecast. Notice your high temperatures on Monday look to be in the 60s in a number of spots. If you go all the way up to the path of totality, you're probably running about 55 to 60 degrees. So that's the overview on your weekend. Again, special videos on skiing, on the eclipse, all on the website, onedegreeoutside.com. Make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube. Really appreciate you checking in here, and I wish you a wonderful weekend ahead.